is Brian Gomez, and this is my physical assessment assignment for nursing uh, NR305 for Chamberlain College of Nursing. Hi, my name is Isabel Mata, and I give permission for this to be recorded and submitted to Chamberlain College for grading purposes. Go ahead and enter the patient's room. Knock, knock. No privacy. My hands are clean. Hi, my name is Brian. I'm going to be your nurse today. Uh, can you tell me your first and last name and your date of birth? Hi, my name is Isabel Mata. Um, my birthday is 6-18-92. Okay. Uh, what brings you in today? Just a general checkup. Okay. So before the general checkup, uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and we're going to do a head and toe assessment as well before the doctor comes in. And I'll go ahead and document my findings. Um, can you tell me what uh, today's date is? Today is Friday, December 6th. Excellent. And then can you also tell me where we are right now? We're in the doctor's office. Excellent. Okay, cool. So by that, I can tell my patient is awake, alert, and oriented. Time is four. Um, so during the assessment, I'm also going to be placing my hands on you. At any point, if you're uncomfortable or there's any pain or discomfort, please let me know as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions? No. Nope. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to go ahead, again, provide the privacy, uh, put on gloves. At this point, I'd also get some uh, vitals like uh, heart rate, respiratory rate, temperature, blood pressure, O2 stat, as well as, uh, it, currently, Isabel, are you in any pain at the moment? No. Zero from 10? Zero, sure. no okay. pain. So then pain is also zero, so I document that as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, as well, any allergies I should be made aware of as well? No allergies. Oh, excellent, okay. So uh, just also general observation, look at my patient. Uh, she, her posture is upright. She's able to hold herself up without any assistance. Uh, her hair and her hygiene looks good. Her, nut her nutrition looks good as well. Her, she's dressed appropriately for today's uh, weather and climate. And then she also is uh, space symmetrical, uh, symmetry wise. Her features, she uh, appears uh, accurate for today, uh, today's situation. There's no uh, signs of acute distress or anything. And yes, yeah, so we'll go ahead. Uh, Isabel, I'm gonna go ahead and place my hands on your uh, scalp as well, just to take a look, okay? okay. Any questions at the moment? No, no? okay, all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at her scalp. Her hair is evenly distributed. There's no signs of infestation. There's no lumps or lesions. Any pain or tenderness there? No, all okay. good. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and look at your eyes as well. Um, do you wear glasses or contacts? No glasses no? or contacts. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to shine a light in your eyes as well. Before that, I'm just going to pour your eyes down. I'm going to take a look mm -hmm. inside your eyes. Okay, so her conjunctiva is pink and her sclera is white. I'm going to go ahead. You know, I'll dim the lights at this, at this time. So if you can go ahead and just stare at the, my forehead. Okay. And then just go ahead and stare at this pen and follow it. Okay, so her pupils are equal, round, and react to the light, and they accommodate bilaterally. Um, I'm going to look at your ears as well. Uh, no hearing aids, correct? No hearing aids. Okay. okay so there's no signs of redness or drainage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop it. You have uh, ear piercings, correct? Right? Yes, okay. I do. So one over there. Got it. Okay, so she has ear piercings on both ears. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and give your ears here. Any pain or tenderness? No. No? Okay. No. Right. Okay, so I'm going to put your nose, I'm going to place my hand on your nose right now, mm -hmm. just so you know. Any pain or discomfort? No. No? Okay. Any recent trauma or surgeries? No. Okay, excellent. So can you lean your head back and just take a look? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then there's no rainage or, uh, rainage, there's no redness or drainage in your nostrils or nose. Also, I'm going to have you just uh, plug one nose like this, mm -hmm. like one nostril, and then breathe in and out. Excellent. Other side. Excellent. Okay, so patient's nares are patent. There's no obstruction of airway. I'm also going to have you now look at your mouth. Mm -hmm. If you can open your mouth for me and then say ah. Uh. Excellent. Okay, so patient, go ahead and mouth. <laughs> Patient's uh, mouth, uh, her uh, buccal mucosa is pink, there, and there's no signs of any lesions or cuts or anything or sores. Her teeth are in place. There's no ob obvious signs of any caries or any uh, dentures or, or, or anything, any teeth missing. Okay, excellent. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and feel around your ears and your neck as well, okay? Mm -hmm. tenderness there? No. Excellent. Okay. So just looking at her neck, I don't see any bulges or any uh, thyroid issues or any uh, extension or anything like that. So her neck looks good. You could uh, listen for any breweries and then also also listen or palpate for carotid, but we don't need that for this assessment. I'm going to go ahead and have you just turn your head, uh, bring your ear to your shoulder, other side, also turn to your side, very good, other side, and then back, excellent, and forward. 
Any pain or discomfort? No. no? Excellent. Okay, so patient has full range of motion of her cervical spine. I'm going to look at her arms here as well. So, her, her, again, her skin, her skin pigmentation is even. It's appropriate for her ethnicity. Uh, there's no signs of any cuts or lesions or any tattoos or anything or any birthmarks here, really. Excellent. Okay, so I'm just looking also. Uh, there's no sign of tenting, ten, uh, ten, uh, tenting as well, so she's hydrated. Capillary, capillary refill is within three seconds. I'm going to go ahead and feel for her radial pulse. And her ulnar pulse. Okay, and in her brachial pulse. Okay, uh, her pulses are patent by uh, or bilateral uh, plus two. And then also, if you can close your eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and just this will be your upper arm, your lower arm, and your hand. Okay. Just going to see. We're going to see if you can feel sensation there. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you close your eyes. Where do you feel sensation here? My lower arm. On your left side. My left side. Excellent. How uh, about now? My upper arm on the right side. Okay, here. My hand on the right side. Okay. Mm -hmm. My hand on the left side. Excellent. Okay, so you can open your eyes. Patient uh, has normal sensation, so for light sensation touch. And I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to go ahead and listen to your lung sounds. Mm -hmm. uh, first on your back and then your front. So okay. actually, we're going to have, oh, you can actually lean forward here. Mm -hmm. Just going to move your hair. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's get, if you mind, can I have you sit on this table here? Oh, yeah, no problem. Okay. So every time I place that scope, if you can just take a deep breath in and out. Okay. Excellent, thank you. And listen to your front side as well. Mm -hmm. If you ever feel lightheaded or anything, just take a break as well, okay? Okay. normal, thank you. So uh, posterior and anterior, her lung sounds are clear. There's no auscultation of any adventition sounds. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and now we're going to listen to your, again, your heart sounds. Mm -hmm. You can be the regular. You don't have to worry about anything on that. So, so her right side, midclavicular, uh, second intercostal space, or like the more sternal border. You can be the regular. Don't worry about that. Okay, and her left side, second intercostal space. This this is aortic, this is pulmonic valve. Third intercostal space, the urbis point. Tricuspid is fourth. Now, Isabel, for this last point, could you raise your left breast for me? Thank you. This is the mitral valve, fifth intercostal space, mid, mid clavicular. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to use, I'm going to listen for the valves as well, so I'm going to use the opposite side or the bell side. So the same thing, and relax. And if you lift your left breast room again. Very good, thank you. Okay, so her heart sounds are regular, normal. There's uh, S1 and S2 are present. There's no sounds of, or auscultation of any uh, murmurs or rubs or clicks or snaps or anything, so that's all good. So I'm gonna go ahead while you're here and then now have you lay down. I'm gonna look at your abdomen before you lay down. Oh, actually, before that, I'm sorry, I'm gonna listen to your apical pulse as well. So we're okay. gonna still have you lay down. So if you can lay down for me. That's nice. Yes, and then actually, if you can keep your feet up. So if you might have to scoot up a little bit, sorry about that. So this I'm gonna listen to for a full minute. 
switch back to my diaphragm. It's gonna go underneath your left breast again, okay? Okay, our apical pulse is 67. You can stay, still stay really relaxed. Uh, real quick question. Um, number one, number two for your hepatia. Yeah, we, did you go both times today? Yes, I okay. went both earlier this morning. Okay, and they're both regular? Yeah, they were normal. Okay, good, very good. So just looking at her abdomen as well. Uh, contra wise, her abdomen is flat. Um, if she lift her shirt, you don't have to lift your shirt, but if you lift her shirt, the pigmentation again, there's it's, it's even. There's no signs of any bulges or ascites or redness or irritation. Also no visible signs of any hernia. And now I'm going to go ahead and look, so we can also, at this point, we could auscultate for any bruises in the aortic region as well as the uh, femoral region and iliac region, but we don't need to do that for this assignment. Um, we're going to go ahead and percuss in each section real quickly in all four quadrants. But for, actually, excuse me, before that, we're going to auscultate all four quadrants. So uh, bowel sounds are present in all four quadrants. Now we're going to go ahead and percuss each uh, four areas, or four quadrants as well. to hear without the gloves on, but uh, all four quadrants also are tympanic. Uh, if there are any masses, there might be a dull sound in them, or if there's any stool, let's say in our lower intestines, but for this here, it's uh, tympanic sounds in all four quadrants. And I'm, gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and feel into your stomach, okay? Let me know if there's any pain or discomfort, okay? I'm also monitoring my client's uh, facial expressions, making sure there's no grimacing or anything. Doing okay? Any pain or discomfort? No, not no? at all. Excellent. Okay, very good. While you're laying here, I'm also going to take a look at your legs as well. Okay. Uh, looking at her legs, if I was just to raise her pants like, I would see no edema. Her skin pigmentation, again, is normal for her uh, ethnicity. Uh, there's no, uh, again, no redness or lesions or masses that I can observe. I'm going to actually take off your shoes. Is that okay? Yes, that's okay. no problem. Pull these on. I'm just looking here. Again, no, no signs of edema. And then also, I would take off her socks at this point and also just look at her at her, uh, her capillary refill. And it would be both less than three seconds. Um, and then I'm also going to feel for her pedal pulses and her uh, uh, posterior tubal pulses. Okay, and they're both present bilaterally plus two. Um, then I've had you close your eyes again. I'm just gonna, this is, let's say, your lower leg, upper leg, and foot. I'm just gonna test for light sensation as well, okay? Okay. So where do you feel this? My right lower leg. Excellent. How about here? My left upper leg. Excellent. How about here? My right foot. Okay. And how about here? My left foot. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much. And then I'm gonna go ahead and have you sit up. I can, I can grab your hand here. Thank you. Do you want to stay here? Or do you, actually, what we're going to do at this point, we're going to do a quick test. Do you want to put your shoes back on? Um, actually, you don't leave them off because I shan't need to do a balance test. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you just walk from, from this circle here just to the end of the, uh, just to this point right here, let's say. Okay. And then come back to me. Excellent. Okay, and now you can face that way again. Now we're going to do a heel to toe type thing. So I just want you to do the same thing up to there, and then do it back as well. Excellent, thank you. 
So a patient's gait is normal and steady. Uh, she's also uh, able to keep her balance doing the tandem walking, so that's also good as well for balance. Now this next test, we're gonna have you just stand with your hands by your side and feet together. Uh, for, I'm just gonna watch you for 20 seconds. You can look straight forward. Good. Okay, so now I'm gonna have you close your eyes and do that for another 20 seconds. I'm gonna stand by you just to make sure okay. there's no misbalance or anything. You go ahead. Excellent, thank you so much. So a patient also uh, negative Romberg test, so she's able, her uh, proprioception is correct. Um, she also, uh, also say, this thing about healthy dorsal column, which is present as well, so no issues there. Um, we're gonna do the last test, which is uh, nose to hand and nose. So basically, you're just gonna do what I do. So you're gonna do this and this, okay? You do it three times total. So that's one, two, very good, and one more, three, there you go. Now you do the same test with your eyes closed. One, two, very good, excellent. So a patient uh, has normal findings for the head, uh, hand to toe, uh, <laughs> hand to nose, uh, which again is just cord testing coordination. Uh, Isabel, thank you so much. The doctor will be here in a little bit. Do you have any questions at the moment? No, not right oh. now. Okay, it's excellent. It's a pleasure working with you. And that concludes our assessment.